Hey guys, today I've got a super huge book haul. The majority of this book haul is from a company called The Book People, which I will talk about in just a moment. Um, but I have two books which weren't from The Book People, so I'll show you them first. So I've got Slashback by Rob Thurman. It's a um, Cali Andrus novel. Yeah, I love this series. This is book eight. Um, I have all previous ones. But I haven't read number seven yet. I'll be reading these two over the summer, which I'm looking forward to because I do like this series a lot. It's very funny, it's got supernatural stuff and got amazing characters. It's got one of my favourite characters of all time, um, Robin Goodfellow, in it. And I just, yeah, I really enjoy this series, so I'm looking forward to actually catching up on it. And the other book not from the book people is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And I've heard about this one quite a bit. It seems to have got generally positive reviews. And I've been meaning to buy it for a while. I was going to get it on my Kindle, but then I went into a bookstore where they had lots of deals on. So, I mean, me and my mum needed to buy some book birthday presents for someone. So I got this in one of the deals. It was like, it was sort of buy one, get one for a pound. So this was my one for a pound. I'm pretty sure it's the start of a trilogy or a series, which... I sometimes prefer, especially with trilogies, actually having all books to read rather than having to wait. But we will see what I think of this. Now, like I say, the rest of the books in this book haul is from the book people. They send you, when you sign up with them in Britain, they've got this little like brochure that comes through your door every few months or so. And uh, it's got a whole range of books in it. It's got from sort of like children, sort of like one, two year olds to like to young adult to adults and they've got really good deals on there. They're so cheap these books. They're brand new but they're really cheap and really good value. So I kind of this came through the door the other week and I kind of went a bit mad and I bought a fair few books. I also got these three books. Um it's like is a series about Oscar Wilde solving the murders and crimes. I have to say when I first saw it I saw Oscar Wilde written all over there in big letters and I thought they were books or memoirs by Oscar Wilde so that's why I first got interested in them. Turns out they are all by Giles Brandeth and yeah so it's sort of set in the like 1800s where Oscar Wilde goes and solves crimes and sometimes Sir Arthur Conan Doyle helps him which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, so I've got I'm not entirely sure what order these go in, I haven't really looked at them yet. I've got Oscar Wilde and the Dead Man's Smile, Oscar Wilde and the Ring of Death, and Oscar Wilde and the Candlelight Murders. I thought they were going to be books by Oscar Wilde, but it turns out they got him in it. Got another three books by the same author, in this case it is Gillian Flynn. Um, I've seen this one, Gone Girl, a lot. This one's the one that seems to have took off here anyway and I've been meaning to pick it up. I considered you could get three of them from the book people for some ridiculously cheap price I decided to get them. I've got Gone Girl, Sharp Objects and Dark Places. Yeah they're sort of thrilleries type books, crimey ones. You can kind of see a theme here I've got quite a few crime novels. And I really like the covers as well they're kind of just plain but stand out at the same time with the bright sort of neon colours. Uh, now <laughs> for the biggest pile and then for £7.99 I got 10 books and they were these 10 books oh god uh, <laughs> I will show you this one at the time because these are very heavy yeah these are all classic crime novels and some of which I've heard of before I've been meaning to pick up and other ones I've never heard of and not even heard of the author before so that'd be interesting they all look really cool because they've got like nice minimalistic covers yeah this is it in the brochure and Special offer, buy the Crown Classic Collection for just £7.99 and save an unbelievable £81 today. And on an offer like that, how could I refuse? I may be actually pronouncing some of these titles wrong because, like I say, I haven't heard of some of them before. But Wylander's Hand by J. Sheridan Le Fanu. Yeah, not, not heard of this one. And we've got The Collegians by Gerald Griffin. Again, I don't think I've heard of this one before. Lady Orderly Secret by Mary Elizabeth Brandon. Yep, I haven't heard of this one either. <laughs> I think I've honestly only had about three of these books. I've got Bulldog Drummond by... This only person only has like one name. It's like Saper. Sapper? Saper? But yeah, they, they seem to only have one name. But oops, this was quite a short one out of all of them. The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. I think I have heard of G.K. Chesterton. Then we have 
this beast of a book, Bleak House by Charles Dickens, I never realised mm. Bleak House was so big. The only Dickens I've read is the Christmas Carol, and I read that in school. But yeah, Bleak House is huge. I never knew it was that big. I remember there was a TV series of it on the BBC, but I never actually got around to watching it. So, yeah, I don't actually really know what happens in Bleak House. The Riddle of the Sands by Erkenstein Childers. Yep, haven't heard of this one either. Favourite Sherlock Holmes stories by Arthur Conan Doyle. I have got a complete collection, complete collection of Sherlock Holmes stories. So this one might end up being given to someone as a present. Well, this size like mine too. It's got How I Made My List by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So that might be just interesting to read to see how he chose his favourites. The Murder in the Room All by Edgar Allan Poe. And that's tiny. That's, that's super tiny. I've not actually read any Edgar Allan Poe. I just know he's supposed to be really creepy. I've seen the film The Raven, like starring John Cusack as Edgar Allan Poe, and didn't really enjoy it that much. I thought it was alright, but not too great. But no, so that might actually be quite interesting to read some Edgar Allan Poe. It's a bit of a scary cover, I have to say. Out of all of them, that one is a bit freaky. Raffles by E. W. Hornung. Apologies, I might be saying your name wrong. Um, but yeah, I haven't heard of this one before, or this author. So that was some of the joys of the book people. They also have a website which I'll link down below. I'm not entirely sure if they just deliver in the UK or internationally. I'll leave the link to the book people below so you can have a look. Yeah, I'm quite glad that only turns up on my doorstep every few months or so. Otherwise I probably would get loads of books from them. Yeah, so as you can see I've got a load of books to get through. I really didn't need to buy any more. But yeah, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you think of them and which ones I should read first. Um, especially the classic crime ones because, like I said, hardly any of them I'd heard of before. And please don't tell me to read Big House first. I don't think I'm going to read that one for a while. It's so huge. And I will see you next time.